possible. But even all these soaring temperatures aren't stopping some people from getting a bite to eat outside. Yeah, KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen live in Pacoima where the conditions are hot out there and how do they feel right now, Lauren? Yeah. Well, Jasmine, we actually moved across the street. We found some shade, so it's a bit better. It's 90 degrees, so I think that says something when 90 degrees feels better, but, you know, we'll take it. I want to show you, though, walk with me over here. There's a couple food trucks still here, and much like we're seeing right now, customers have been lining up all day, bearing this heat to get some of this good food, and while it's hot outside for us, inside for those workers, it's a different story. Although we are days deep in a heat wave that hasn't stopped workers inside Morisco's El Patron from serving up some sizzling meals. Antonio Herrera says he likes his job and the heat wasn't going to keep him away from his customers. With temperatures reaching dangerous triple digits outside, you might think it's even hotter inside the food truck with the hot grill in small space. He says it's actually colder inside of the truck because of the vents that help circulate the air. He says water breaks are mandatory, so everyone stays hydrated. But outside, it's so hot today. and that blistering heat is bringing with it more concerns as people try to stay cool. Too much weather for us here in the valley, 100 degrees plus. It's not it for us today, but we got to enjoy some cold drinks for the hot weather. Dozens of areas, including the San Fernando Valley, are under a heat warning, an air quality alert. And in Riverside County, there's a smoke advisory because of multiple fires, like the Rabbit Fire. It's very similar in terms of the symptoms with uh, air pollution, where um, they can have itchy, dry eyes, runny nose. Um, but they can get sore throats and they can progress to shortness of breath. Even though the summer is far from over, some say this heat has worn out its welcome. Back off for sure. I'm more of a cold type of person, but needs to back off for a bit. And the doctor we spoke with told us that he's seen an increase of people being hospitalized this week with a heat related illness, particularly the elderly. The key here is staying hydrated. Ross and Jasmine, back to you. That is the key. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. And if you do need a place to go,